the most attractive thing to me about the violin is just the sound itself, the brightness, the expression in it. It's almost like another person that you're working with. of sounds that work for some pieces don't work for others and you have to constantly be sensitive to that. I've always had a great respect for classical music traditions because I've always wanted to learn how to play the violin in the best way. Everyone has their own interpretation, but at the same time it follows this trajectory because everyone is listening to each other. Sometimes now I feel maybe we're listening to each other too much. In the end, I'm the one that's playing on stage and what people want in that live performance in that moment is something that's meaningful right now. have a lot of methods for getting myself psyched for the performance. I think last time I jumped up and down 50 times. <laughs> what I try to do is just imagine exactly what I want from the performance, what kind of emotional impact I want, and just get into the mood, the feeling of the piece. I want the music to be so internalized that I don't have to think about it. It's best when I'm super concentrated, super focused, but at the same time as open and free as I can be to understand what I want to communicate to the audience is the most important thing for me right before I step onto the stage. In the end, finding something new is what's most exciting about the music. We might have the impression that classical music is not new and it's old and it's more about tradition, but I think the beauty of it is that it actually is new just for a longer period of time. <laughs> 